What's going on, everybody? Some of you may have noticed that oh, it's been a it's been quite a while since my last rank up video, and well, that's because it's 2024. <laughs> Who's still ranking up champs these days? Am I right? Uh, well, you know, actually, I did rank up a champion last month. You see, it was supposed to be just the start of a mass rank up video. And then time slipped away, and I never finished ranking up the champs, so I never uploaded the video. So, you know, before we get started today, let me just rewind a little bit and show you. I, I was only one champion, but, uh, you know, I ascended and ranked up one champion last month. So uh, let me show you how that went, and then we'll kind of catch back up to present day here. Hey, welcome to the first mass level up since the extinction of the level up event. It's now replaced by this daily super event, and... You know, I already have enough points that I, I got all the milestones, but, well, there is another issue in that uh, there's not a whole lot of time left on this Ascension Dust. Yeah, I'm under a minute. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, I, I've done it once again. It was actually about 20 minutes left on it when I ended my stream, and I could have done it then, but, well, I decided to eat some spaghetti first, because, well, there's plenty of time. And I think I already know who I want to ascend. You know, there's some debate here about, ah, should I give it to Doom? Should I give it to Absman or something like that? Maybe Zemo for the upcoming challenge, Angela, I, I don't know. But uh, Fury, this is this is actually who's going to get the dust. Um, Fury, it's about time, buddy. You've earned this ascension and then some. So here you go, pal. Oh, God, hurry up and load. Okay, there we go. Because I there really was not a whole lot of time left on it. Uh, let's go ahead... Okay, all that stuff is claimed. It's it's just these things expiring now. Whew. Okay, for a second there, I thought, <laughs> listen, it would have been my fault, but I thought the game was really going to prevent me uh, from being able to get that off in time. All right, I've got some catalysts expiring too, but I'm not worried about that right now, probably because there's plenty of time there. What I want to do instead is, I mean, it'd be kind of wrong just to leave Fury the way he is at... Uh, you know, Sig 200, Ascended, Rank 4. It's the Rank 4 that's the problem. And, you know, well, I, I got something for him a long time ago that I just, I never used. It's this X Magica Rank Up gem uh, that I got from ranking up Corvus and going through the incursions with Corvus during the last saga. And, uh, well, Fury, it's your lucky day, pal. Not only did you get the Ascension Dust, the four to five rank up gem that's also going to you it's about time <laughs> oh man best me was so stupid am i right you guys i can't believe i almost let all that ascension dust expire like that oh man what was i thinking anyway that was then this is now and you know things are going to be different around here i've really grown a lot over the last month i i, I almost listened to an audiobook i ate a vegetable so things have changed, and I think it's time to get back to ranking up these champions because, well, we have the Crucible, the first Crucible coming up. That's going to require like 35 champs to be ranked up, right? And when looking at my roster here and kind of taking stock of my rank up resources, I think we probably should start by, you know, ascending a champion again. That was a, that was a smart idea by starting to uh, ascend champs last time. So let's go ahead and do that. And actually... What I'm going to do is I'm going to ascend an old god here in Ronin. You see, Ronin, he's the type of champ that every once in a while, he is really busted, really overpowered. And it's been consistent since the start of this game. And right now, just happens to be one of those times where dude's pretty busted, you know, uh, in Battlegrounds. He is particularly powerful right now. And I want to take advantage of that while it's here. And I figure I can probably use him for at least one of the fights uh, in, in the Crucible, right? Uh, I haven't scouted ahead or anything like that, but, uh, you know, we I'm pretty sure I used him in Act 7 somewhere. So, uh, surely he'll be useful here as well, right? And I think what I'm going to do is... Uh, I, I don't know exactly how many resources I can give him right now, but I do want to at least get the ball rolling and get him up to, you know, maybe rank three, rank four. Uh, but let's let's see what my resources allow. Let's just pull in some generic stuff first. And then uh, since that's expiring too, and then we'll come back for the cosmic ISO as well. You know, I just realized I actually have a lot of mutant ISO in my inventory that I need to get rid of just so I can pull in larger quantities 
uh, at the same time. So, uh, change of plans. I'm going to go do that first, and I'm just going to kind of dump the ISO into Nightcrawler here, it seems. Uh, just kind of get him up to speed a little bit before returning to our dear friend Ronin. There we go, much better. So now Ronin is fully ranked too, but again, not gonna stop here. And the thing about Ronin is even if he is released as a seven star, cause it is a little funny ranking up six stars when I have, uh, you know, as many seven stars as I do. Um, but when, uh, when Ronin eventually does come back as a seven star, uh, assuming he does, uh, he needs high SIG level. And there's just no way that I'm going to be able to pull that off as a, you know, with a seven star version of the champ. So uh, I think for the vast majority of people, um, this should be one of the, you know, final six stars if you've moved on to seven stars. Uh, and if you have not moved on to seven stars, well, don't worry about ranking up this Ronin. Maybe use a, a lower star level version for the time being uh, and then eventually, you know, get him all ranked up. Uh, again, before moving on to seven stars yourself. Uh, let's keep going. Why stop here? Get him to at least rank four. Just keep feeding ISO. Okay, this is the last of my cosmic ISO, unfortunately. Let me go ahead and uh, pull in some basic because we're almost there. This might be enough. Yeah, looks like it is going to be enough. Uh, this is fine. There we go. So now he's fully ranked four. And there is part of me that wants to get him to rank 5, just, you know, even for the additional combat power rate uh, that these champs get as they rank up. But I think this is going to have to do for right now. Uh, I could get more of the, uh, the tier 5 cosmic. It's bugged out. Um, that's what that is. But, yeah, I I'll have to do that another time as, uh, well, I want to feed resources to some other champs. So let's continue poking around and actually uh i need to get back to that fury that you guys originally looked at because while i did rank him up uh, and ascend him and all that i never finished fully leveling him up so let's get that all done with all right there we go fury finally fully maxed out oh man a process that started I couldn't even tell you how long ago at this point. Uh, had this champ for a very long time. Grinded for him in the arena originally. Actually, I think that was the five-star version. But either way, it's about time I got this guy uh, fully maxed out. Feels good. Okay, what's next? Oh, you know what? I know what's next. Uh, I'm actually going to uh, feed some Sig Stones to my little ducky friend here. Uh, you see, the Sig Stones that were expiring in that other clip that I showed... Uh, that was for, I can't remember who I gave those six to, honestly. I think I just gave it to champs to get them to max SIG. But since then, I've also been SIGging up Howard the Duck. He was SIG 1 for the longest. His SIG ability is not the most important thing ever. Um, you know, I, I, SIG 1 is great for him, but beyond that, it's not totally necessary to do what I'm doing. Uh, but I play the Duck so much that even though the benefit is not super strong... Uh, there is still a benefit. You will still take reduced damage. Uh, that crit resistance based off of armor rating, that's solid for when you, you slip up and, uh, well, take some punches to the face. Also, the incoming debuff timer, it's it's nice, but it uh, just wasn't a priority until now. So, Howard officially fully maxed out to join Fury up there. Okay, now what's next? Whoops, a few more days passed and now the Crucible is out and I'm gonna need some ISO to finish the rest of this ranking up because I'm about to go berserk. So, no more stalling. This is the, that was the, the last break between uh, rank ups I'm taking. Uh, let's go ahead and just, I'm just gonna pop a whole bunch of these, like, I don't know, 50 or so. That's gotta be enough for now and then if I need more, I guess I'll figure something else out. Maybe we'll open up the rest of them, or, uh, I don't know, um, a different crystal, something like that. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pop open all 50 of these. And, really, I'm probably missing a bunch of 5 stars. So, yeah, there we go. One new. Who is it? Oh, Mr. Warlock. Okay. Uh, welcome to the party. Uh, I, yeah, collecting any new 5 stars, any new champions, period. That's always a good time. Um, also getting a bunch of max SIG crystals too, and that's great. Another new champ? Hey, I didn't have 5-star Electro? I guess that makes sense. 
Uh, um, yeah. Electro is a, a champion that uh, is a bit of a throwback. It was my first ever science three star that I maxed out, and uh, I actually wouldn't mind having a, a high ranked Electro. Another new one, though. Wow. Onslaught. Come back to me as a seven star Onslaught. I would appreciate that so much more. Uh, I guess he is going to the basic crystal very soon, and I do have a bunch of basic seven stars. Ready to go. Dude, another new one. Ooh, Destroyer. Okay. So there we go. A uh, bunch of new champs. A ton of ISO. Hopefully it's enough. Let's see what kind of ISO actually got out of this. Um, this actually might not be enough. Especially in the Mystic department. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, well... I guess we'll figure it out as we go if that's enough or not. Well, I was going to look at Mystic right now just to see who I wanted to give uh, this 2-3 to three gem to that I have. Um, maybe Destroyer here would be a good option. I don't know. I'm still kind of on the fence about this guy since he's not duped. Uh, but since I didn't pull that much Mystic ISO, yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I'll come back to that. What about my entire 7-star roster? Um, I want to do one rank three rank up right now. Uh, I might save another rank three since I do have Catalyst uh, until after I do a big opening. But who should I actually rank up to rank three right now? Kind of have my eyes on Hyperion. Even unduped, I might do it. But uh, I don't know. Jugs is probably the front runner for the uh, Mystic Gem. Oh boy, oh boy, what do I do? Another big front runner is Dust, and the only thing that's kind of holding her back is I don't have her awakened, but she's kind of a utility powerhouse. I mean, just look at some of these immunities. Immunity to bleed, poison, shock. She's got all the glancing. She's got the somewhat unavoidable damage when thrown on defense. She's great, but, uh, you know, I don't quite have those silver stars, and I don't even remember exactly what her awakened ability does. Uh, I don't think it's that crucial. I mean, hasn't been so far. But still, it's a bit difficult to justify. So you know what? I think I am going to go with someone that is awakened. Yeah, let's just go with the tree, man. Let's just do it. Let's just get some tier 5 cosmic catalyst, actually. Because if I hide my face, I don't have enough tier 5. Okay, that's right. Let's go ahead and... Uh, and find some of those crystals too. Oh no, this is not good. I actually only have 12 of these crystals left. I'm just going to pop them all open, but... Oh, dang, okay. I thought I was going to have to check around some of the other shops or something like that. Dude, uh, how lucky is that? I got all the, uh, all the, the, the catalysts that I needed right there. Okay, cool. Well, I'm out of those crystals. That's something to keep in mind. May still have to scrounge around for those for the next rank up. But for now... We're going back, and the tree is going up. Uh, Mr. Deathless King Groot, my first Deathless rank three, happening now. Oh, feels good. Feels real good. King Groot, always one of my favorite champs, even before he got buffed. One of the few using him, and now i got the Deathless version, and this is new. This is the first time I'm seeing this screen. Just pulling the ISO directly from the stash? What? Okay, I mean, that's that's pretty handy. That's pretty nice. Sure, level up. Um, okay, didn't quite give enough uh, ISO, like, but that's, a that's fine. It's okay. Uh, let's just do that again. No problem. It's a little weird the way that... Uh, that it works. It's not like the most obvious way to get to the screen, but you click on just the, the ISO button there. Okay. Cool, man. Uh, I just need the tiniest bit of ISO for him. I think I should actually turn Smart Select off for this one and just feed him one of these. Okay. There we go. Cool. Deathless King Groot. Oh my god, that's so much faster to get all that ISO. That's incredible. Okay, but there it is. That's another rank three. And you guys, I actually don't have that many total rank threes. That is only my third one. Which means if I do one more, I'm basically doubling the number of rank threes that I had going into this. So uh, I'll think about the next rank three. But for now, let's move on to ranking up another champion. Maybe get a seven star rank two. Let's see, what do I want to do? You know what? Let's actually go with Photon, because Photon in this Battlegrounds meta is particularly annoying as well. So uh, I'll get her all ranked up. 
Oh my god, what an incredible system here. I love this so much. I used to just edit out grabbing a fistful of ISO over and over and over again uh, out of the ISO stash. I don't think I need to do that anymore. Uh, oh my god, look how much ISO I need for that last rank though. Alright, I guess we still need to go to the stash on this one. And just claim a, a little basic guy. Claim one and done. Okay. Cool. Photon rank 2. I've never really played this champ, so I'm sure it's going to be a little bit of a learning experience to actually play with her offensively, but uh, for now, I'll just throw her on defense and then occasionally uh, actually play with her. All right. Let's see. Am I pulling in all these catalysts? Okay, good. What do I want to do next? Man, I wanted to rank up Gallon also for this current Battleground meta, but uh, just not really having the, the cosmic catalyst to do so. Because, yeah, I, I mean, I, I can't get Ronin to rank 5 either, which is something that I wanted to do. Uh, hmm. I mean, maybe I should just hunt for some of that stuff. Let's see. How expensive are, are those resources in the Battlegrounds store? Let's kind of poke around here a little bit and look for some uh, Tier 5 selectors, perhaps. Um, I see Tier 4 selector. These things are dirt cheap. Uh, are there tier fives? Oh yeah, here we go. These are kind of expensive though, man. That's a bit pricey. That's a bit much. Uh, let, maybe let's just find a different class type to go with for now. And yeah, I'll have to get back to some of the cosmics later. Still in six star land for now. I think I should probably get Absman ranked up. A little bit concerned if I use too many of the, uh, the tier five mystic catalysts that I won't be able to uh, go and rank up a seven star after this, but I mean, this is this is kind of his meta in the battlegrounds as well. So, you know what? Fine, abs man, you're getting ranked up. Grats in the rank five, bud. Let's grab a whole bunch of ISO for you, and then do we ascend him as well, you guys? Uh, maybe. Let's just feed him one more of these. All right, there we go. The 565 not ascended, and yeah, I ascended, fine. Uh, this guy's going to be, I'm sure I'll use him each time I take a path in the Crucible, so uh, might as well commit the resources. Uh, and he is already SIG 200 and everything as well, so he joins the 565 SIG 200 champs. Speaking of the 565 SIG 200 champs, what am I missing here? A bunch of tier 6 science and one tier 5 science as well. I really want to get Torch to rank 5. Um, he's still great in Battlegrounds, but not at rank 4. He's not really holding up that well. Gotta get him to rank 5. Lost so many matches with him at rank 4 by less than a 1,000 points. So, um, let's see. How do we get some of the tier 6? Because tier 6... I should have a bunch of those crystals saved up, so uh, should actually not be as difficult to get as the tier fives, believe it or not. So let's just, dude, I'm I am so overdue for a mass crystal cleanup. Uh, <laughs> I guess too many crystals. Let's see. All right, 135 of the five percents, not good enough. I do have some of the 25 percents for for tier five, but here we go. 134 of the 25 percents for tier six. Uh, all right, so I need three science. That's one. <laughs> Let's see how long it takes to get two. Okay, that's two. Let's see how long it takes to get three. No, okay, I thought I just did it again. <laughs> Not quite. Okay, that should do it. Nope. One more. That should do it. Okay, there we go. Oh, look at all these catalysts, you guys. That feels good. All right, let's actually get that last tier five science as well and then i think i think we just invest that into torch i think we commit let's pop open all of these is that enough no please no dang ah, i'm only halfway there okay let's open some of these smaller crystals i've got a bunch of 10 percenters um might take a, a good number of these Ooh, getting kind of lucky i think with the science Getting reasonably lucky, actually. Nah, struck out that time. Last six. No, come on, dude. Okay, didn't get cosmic either. That's unfortunate. It's okay. Now I have 55 of the five percenters as well. 
Surely I won't have to open too many of these. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. One of each, actually. All right, let's take this on over to Torch. Okay, Torch, flame on, buddy. It's about time getting one of the most OP science champs to ever exist uh, to rank five. I think, uh, I think I hear a lot of people say this guy doesn't really hold up that much uh, these days just because, um, well, seven stars. And especially a champ like this, you really want to be parrying and hitting those uh, medium light mediums and the block penetration of seven stars and everything. But this champ, dude, he's going to be useful for so... I mean, honestly, until they release him as a seven star in questing content. And uh, for me, where I'm currently at in Battlegrounds, yeah, I'm absolutely still going to make use of this guy. So uh, very happy with that rank up. I think... You know what's funny... Oh, never mind. He is SIG 200. I was going to say, he doesn't really need any SIG levels, but uh, maybe I should invest in him. I guess I did a while ago when I did Necropolis or something. Um, okay, maybe let's go back to seven stars and figure out what I want to do here. Now, man, I really wanted to get another Cosmic Champ ranked up. I wanted to get Arcus ranked up. Let's, let's at least get him to... Um, you know, uh, level level one here, or sorry, rank one, level 25, maxed out rank one. Um, but again, dude, the cosmic catalyst really killing me. So I'm going to have to hold off on that for the time being. Uh, what else should I do, though? You know what? Let's get serious about the mystic class so that I can figure out who I want to feed this gem to. This two to three mystic gem that's been burning a hole in my pocket. The most obvious champ to go with is Jugs. Um, I, I, you know, we've done a couple of votes, but uh, I, I mean, it's a joke every time I do a vote. It always lands on Jugs, of course, um, because of how powerful this champion is. His damage is absolutely busted. Um, he's pretty tanky as well, actually. He's got a good base health pool and everything. Um, but... I don't know, dude. I just don't love playing Jugs. And if I take him to rank 3, I'm going to be playing him, of course. Um, that, or, like uh, someone mentioned, I think it was Red Dog, saying, hey, if you take him to rank 3, especially with given my roster and that I don't have that many rank 3 champions, uh, well, he's going to draw a lot of attention, and uh, he's probably going to end up getting banned quite a bit. Um, you know, look at these other rank three champs. Sometimes they get banned for sure, but uh, oftentimes people are banning, um, you know, my like my Sunspot uh, at rank two or Dust gets banned quite a bit. Um, the Pig sometimes. A lot of rank two champs end up getting banned. And uh, yeah, maybe, maybe it is the way to go that if I don't even necessarily want to be playing Jugs that much, it's fine. I'll just let him get banned, and uh, I'll get to play my other champs that otherwise would have been banned. So maybe that should be the case. I would say the other big contenders for me are Destroyer, but unfortunately he's not duped, and I really like his dupe. Uh, Mojo, he's unfortunately not duped either, but I don't know, man. It's still kind of cool to have him ranked up. Still gives me a lot of wins. Uh, and then Maw, actually. I really like Maw. I think he's underrated offensively. Uh, he's not that strong, though, which is why he could really use the additional ranks. And then with a champ like Maw, the longer the fight goes on, uh, the more likely he is to hit you with some of that degen damage uh, when he's on defense. So uh, he's actually a pretty strong contender for me. And, man, what do I do? Man, I swear, if Maw was duped, I actually would go with Maw, but no, I, you know, I, I'm fine. We're going with Jugs. Jugs, he's rank one currently. He's going to rank two. And then I guess I still have a, a, a tiny bit of time uh, before I am committing the rank three. But realistically, no, realistically, it's happening. He's, he's going to go all the way up. So, uh, all right, Jugs, that is the rank one. Sorry, rank two, <laughs> level 35. And then the rank up gem, finally committing. I've held on to this thing for long enough. Uh, I've had a good enough champ for a long enough time as well. Um, wow, I can't even use 
I just have, I just want to click one more one more of these ISO bricks. You won't let me do it? Alright, fine. Um well, I guess I need a lot more ISO bricks. Yeah, the UI a little bit deceiving on this, but that's okay. Alright, there we go. Jugs, rank three, level forty-five. Please ban him if you face me in alliance. Uh, sorry, I've almost said alliance for. Please ban him if you face me in battlegrounds. I don't actually want to play him. Uh, but if you don't, I'll play him. And yeah, I guess I'll have some 30 second matches. That's fine. Uh, okay, so doubled my rank three, my seven star rank three firepower here. Um, looking pretty good. Uh, I would say one of them is not going to be that useful in Battlegrounds, but this champ is so useful everywhere else. The other reason I committed to him is he is currently a Saga champion, uh, and I'm sure we'll be using him for the Deathless quest whenever that hits the game as well. But aside from that, do I have more Catalysts that I want to use? Let me claim all this stuff for right now. But uh, is there anything else... I don't have anything too crazy expiring. So maybe maybe that's where I should let things rest. A bunch of new rank 5s and 7 star rank 3s and 2s. I say this is pretty good. I do have other catalysts. Um, should take a, a quick peek at the old uh, inventory here. Because I do have catalysts that I want to burn still. Uh, most notably is that I have 5 tier 4 alphas. But uh, the thing there, you guys, oh man, I'm actually dry on these. The thing there is that I, I want to hold on to some of those resources so that after I do my big seven star opening, um, which will be very soon, look at this, two and a half days is when the crystal is going to update. Uh, as soon as the, the crystal updates, I'm going to pop open all my basics and then... If I get like a dupe on Dust or Maw, like those champs would go to rank three or Hyperion. Or if I get one of the new champs entering the base pool, like Onslaught, um, you know, I, I want to have the, the capability of taking that champ to rank three. So uh, I think this is pretty good. I think this is a, a pretty good stopping point. Okay, that'll do it for this video, you guys. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.